everyone, welcome to the Mud Show. Start the Mud Time. So Mauritius builds boats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to show you a massive boat, it's a, it's and it's built boat. here. This is the ferry. They actually built this for French Guiana. Okay, this is Leah, and she's an intern studying naval architecture. So, girls out there, inspired, go become <laughs> naval <laughs> architects, and you're yeah. here on internship. Yes, internship for uh, five months. Okay, hopefully the weather will clear up for you. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Thanks, Leah. Are going up the gangplank? Onto a ship? Can we go up the gangplank? Are you going to be able to come up, Rick? And down some stairs. I need a yeah. mobile handrail. Mobile handrail coming up. Thank you. Good, good. We, we are on a massive ship. Massive. Wait there. Like a real boat like you see in movies like yeah. with steppy things and close yeah. the galleys and this is a massive boat I mean you've got a place to sit outside it's a little bit rainy so probably everyone's inside but scuba diving they actually go on excursions whoa <laughs> sea legs and you can actually do some scuba diving so scuba diving equipment yeah they've got the compressor on board they actually have their compressor on board like what you said obviously in water I did notice some other important things up here your wetsuits and BCDs, and they're the most important piece of equipment that every boat should have. Ah, it's beer on tap. And it comes out of this huge big freezer, so nice cold beer, very important. What do they call it in, in boating? The, galley. the galley. galley, it's the galley. It's not the kitchen, it's the galley and dining room. So this is the galley, and it is an actual working galley. It smells really nice in here. Someone's been cooking. Ah, oh, there we are, there you can see it there. It's, it's a small galley, it is a small galley. It's, um, it's not a massive one, but it's enough for the ship. And this is the dining room, so you've got some nice booths and places to sit. And there's some guys actually eating here, so let me swing it around and you guys can say hi if you don't mind. Hi. So these are the guys, are you guys living on board? Yeah, no, 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 no. Not, you're just visiting. Yeah. They've come for the free food and the beer. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have this for the plates, otherwise they'll break. These are the guys, you guys living on Steve. board? Steve. Oh, I've got my bag stuck. Maybe I shouldn't be taking a bag down with me. <laughs> Yeah, it's too narrow for my bag. You're not the right size for a boat. No, no. You need to be Leah's size. <laughs> <laughs> Safety down. Awesome. So this is the, the place. As you can see, I didn't notice it upstairs, but they actually do have these little grooves so your plates don't run off. <laughs> but we're downstairs where the cabins are. As you can see, each, each one has two banks. And there's plenty of space in here. And if, if, you, if you're not full size like me, uh, but there you go, plenty of space. Oh, <laughs> okay, so you've got your bunk area down here where you can sleep. But if you want to go to the toilet, you do have to navigate the stairs again, and they are quite steep. And I do get stuck. Ah, I think I might actually have got my. As you can see, my backpack is too big. Should have taken it off. But there we go. I think we made it nearly there. Woo. Boating, not for big guys. You're going to lose a lot of weight. But actually, I think I'm losing weight just climbing up those stairs. Ricky will come give you a famous bathroom tour in a second. Oh, I can get to the bathroom, not downstairs. No, it's right here. I heard you blaming your backpack on the reason why you can't fit three spaces. Shut up. <laughs> it's the backpack. It's the backpack. <laughs> and the laundry here. But Ricky will give a famous bathroom tour now. Bathroom tour? You got a shower? Shower? <laughs> oh, it's actually quite spacious. So you've got your separate shower, and then over here you've got your double sinks, more mirrors, and another shower. Really, really crazy steep stairs, and then probably toilet. Oh no, locked. But there's a toilet. So that's cool. 
fantastic news. The guys who run the expedition have given me permission to actually drive it. So they, they're just casting off now. And I don't see anyone there, so that means I must be actually allowed to drive it. <laughs> this is my new boat, everyone. Wow. I thought this was a joke, but it actually works. It's the backup <laughs> theory. It's the backup. And we drive with this. That is how you actually drive it. That is the normal steering wheel for this thing. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> yeah? It's like boating my wire. How disappointing. This, this is how you drive a boat. But it should be bigger and in front of the wheel. But all this stuff, it actually is pretty cool. It is pretty awesome. Yeah, it looks like oh, an wow. airplane cockpit. Let me focus on Port Louis for you. Nice. You guys can see this. This is like a depth metery thing from below us, how deep the water is and what it's doing. Yeah, on the other side, the other navigation chart thing. So all the important flags, chart. Alpha Bravo, Charlie Delta Echo. So you got your whole alphabet out there. Cool. Yeah. Wow. I'm actually in the back section here. As you can see, this looks a bit like a JCB handler. So if you're in the back here, using your JCB bits to drop submarines and whatnots, you can also drive the boat. Ah, cool. Well, everyone, this is where we are. That's Mauritius. That's the whole world. And if you look down there, they're going all the way down there to Kargaland. <laughs> Kargaland, which is right next to Antarctica. And that guy, the Michelin Man. <laughs> well, the sun is starting to come out, so I feel fully entitled to sit here at my table and demand my draft beer. I did see draft beer there. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the front. <laughs> so this is the front of the boat. So you sit in there, that's where the guy sits and drives it. The anchor. Have a look at the size of the chains. They, they have two different sizes, obviously one is in case the other one breaks, who knows. Two anchors. So it has two anchors. Have a look at the ship on this side with its radars and things. You can actually go on this boat to one of the places of the names that I can't remember. Yeah, it's like a nine day trip. They're going to Madagascar or something and tourists are allowed to come. You're allowed to come. It's 1,000... 115,000 rupees per person. 115,000 rupees per person for the whole nine days, food, beer. Sounds like an experience and you can go diving. And you can go diving, of course. Look at the boat, that's boat down there and you can see the shore. Look at it move. It actually, it moves just a little bit, but just enough to let you know you're still at sea. This is Ricky cheating. You're supposed to go backwards down. Oh, it's raining again. <laughs> well done, Rick. Master ship. And this is where the expedition goes to. Kerguelen. And look at that. No, I'm not going there. Did you see that sea? But how awesome is this place? It looks amazing. News just in. You can actually hire this whole boat for a weekend. Leaving on Friday, coming back Sunday. There are two zodiacs, you can do cat surfing and water sports skiing and things. It's 250,000 rupees for the whole weekend. You can hire this boat for 250,000 rupees for the whole weekend. Put it over here. No one pointing at the boat. <laughs> and one touch of blue sky. He has a name painted on the side. Easy to see. Whoa. Tripping over tripping hazards. Nice. This is a beautiful catamaran. There you go, Amelia. This is how you get on boats. Okay. <laughs> you gotta wait for it to come all the way back. And then you grab on this side. That's and right. Step across. And then you take your shoes. Whoa! Take your <laughs> shoes off always. Naughty Tech 40. Naughty Tech 40. I am now on the Naughty Tech 40. And you're greeted by a barbecue straight up which is awesome. Solar panels at the back. Nice big steering wheel. I'm sure they called something else. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna have a look. This is actual liverboard type boat. So welcome aboard my boat. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm selling a drone right now instead of selling you a boat. So do your video and then we'll yeah. talk about cats. All right? Here we are. I'm Christoph. I'm the owner of this company and liverboard is my dream. So come and sail with us anytime guys. Look who came on board. <laughs> So Amelia, if I can do it, you can do it, you can get on board. So anyone can get on board, yeah. Anybody can. <laughs> <laughs> 
Cool, so this boat sleeps eight people and you get a shared bathroom between each two cabins. And this is what one of the cabins looks like. There's the controls for the air conditioner and you got a little fan. I didn't come in here for my health. I'm climbing on the bed. <laughs> Genuinely. I've got the owner there looking at me being a little bit worried that... Uh, uh, you have, to, you have to test a bit, you know? Mm. Oh. oh, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I think I might just live here. <laughs> so anyway, guys, this is my new home. It's actually really comfy. Yeah, it does. It looks, it looks nice. It actually feels good. It does. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, there's blackout curtains, so you don't have oh, to sleep right. in. And there's the lights. Dimmable. Look at that. If you want a bit Ooh. of ambiance with Madame in the room. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're going to get the ambiance. Come, Madame. Be nice and clean of yellow pee in there. Okay. <laughs> Bathroom tour. So as you know, because it's a boat, it's going to be squishy. But you've got a shower. Cool. And if you step into the shower area, I'm assuming, yeah. You got a toilet, a storage cupboard, actually a bunch of them. And then through the passage is the other bedroom. Yeah. Need to change. Look at my rudder going from 12 degrees to 11, 10. You know, it's, it's basically I'm going to center the the rudder. There we go. So it's just to show you that we can actually steer the vessel from the actual BNG app. This um, yeah. is the steering wheel. How lazy have boating people got? Where's the <laughs> big wooden one? <laughs> Sitting here. Me driving the boat. Oh, I think I might have actually touched something. Me driving the boat. I accidentally touched the button, which which is the auto destruct. But don't worry, they're not panicking, so it's probably not going to instantly blow up. But you can drive it from here. There was a steering wheel. I did see a steering wheel somewhere, so we'll go find that as well. Over here, here running. We're going up energy to actually run through throughout the day and even the night. And, you the know, kitchen generation actually the has an oven. oven. Fridge. Um, so you got to learn. You got to learn where your cupboards are and what they do. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. and being, uh, so you don't look like an idiot. There's a little latch. Uh, you ready? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of fun because everywhere you see a little hooky thing, it's like, oh, the spices. Now you gotta open something. <gasps> nice. Oh, all the selection. That's actually very useful. I'd like one of those at home. It's the freezer, so you gotta have a freezer. So it seems like you gotta have things cold. I suppose it is Mauritius. So you can actually take this to St. Brandon, which is an island all the way out there. The way Trampoline out there. for your sunbathing. An atoll. It's called an atoll. It's not really an island. It's an island. That's what he's talking about. Lots of sandbags. But you can take this boat out there because it's autonomous. Autonomous means solar panels. Yes, solar panels can run the whole ship. And they have water desalination. Something like 60 liters a second or something. Okay, it's an hour. Apparently it's an hour. It's the slow one. It's not the fast one. But dining room outside. But under there, that's where they store the beers. Well, foods and things and other stuff. So when you're going to St. Brandon, they have everything you need. Well, it comes with a crew of two, the guy who drives the boat. I can't imagine why they wouldn't let me drive it. Uh, so I could have saved money on the guy, but I'll go drive it in a minute. But all of this, all the food, everything included. Obviously, if you're drinking something fancy, you're gonna have to bring that yourself. But basically 10,000 rupees a person. Per night. Per night, yes, per night. You get the cabin, 10,000 rupees per person. That's if eight of you are sharing here. So. That's not too bad <laughs> for all this luxury, cruising up Mauritius, up to Grand Bay, maybe even the islands beyond. So I've finally been allowed, I've got permission, I didn't have to pay though, but you guys are going to have to, to sit at the big wheel. Ah! Captain Brian, I... Ah! Now you can do your Scottish accent again, I think. Was this made in Glasgow? <laughs> Apparently it was made in Glasgow. <laughs> it's Captain oh, Haggerty, welcome to my boat. <laughs> welcome to my boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible Scottish accent. I'm so bad at Scottish accents, but I do say Glasgow good. Man, there's so many things that you have to pay attention to. It's like pointing at Port Louis. Well, you can zoom in or out. Yeah, and then you can go to other applications. Yeah. There we are. Oh, you can steer from here. Well, yeah. But there's a steering wheel. So you can steer there or on the steering wheel. I'm so excited with inside of the boat that I don't think I even showed you. There's this whole outside area where you'd probably spend most of your time. Where you can't get close to the sea, take, you take the dinghy. Part of the experience is actually learning to, to drive the boat and to put up sails as much as you like or as little as you like because this is all about you. It's like an all-inclusive 
that you can drive boats, put up sails, or just lounge around there or in the front where they'll bring you drinks, which is awesome. Can't wait to see the video footage. Oh, Are you barefoot? <laughs> I've just been chatting with Christoph here. This is his boat and his company, and, and he sometimes is the captain. But he's just told me there's a St. Brandon video. Link below. I'm seriously going to put it there. It is, it is unbelievable. You'll see what the guys get to do on the St. Brandon trip. But, yeah. <laughs> do it. Definitely. Go check it out. We've never actually had Putu before. Look at that. What is it? Coconut. Oh, it comes from there. And it steams. And it steams. And then it comes out as a, as a, as a this. Mm. Look at it. What does it smell like? Coconut pudding. Putu, everyone. Oh, oh it's flaky. It's flaky. Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm missing. I'm so bad at camera work. Is it hot? Oh, hot. First try of putu. Mmm. It's very good. Mm. I thought it would be sweeter, but it's not. It's, it's like a coconut ice without all the sugar. Yes. I could almost imagine you eating it with a curry or something. Yes, yes, this would be great with curry. Hi. <laughs> Port Levy, amazing place. Mm. <laughs> amazing stuff. Mm. Resi Glass Nautical, they're actually based in Mauritius. They actually do all their stuff near Pumpelman. And look at this, they make the legends. Ha! Awesome! This is actually a fishing boat. And these are two four-stroke Mercuries. 150, 150. So you get these two and this awesome fishing boat. 3.2 million from Resiglot. And you know, it's made in Mauritius. Wow, 3.2. 3.2. And the trailer. Resiglass also makes these cool things. This is the Resiglass fishing kayak. Really, that's cool. These things are awesome. And it's made here in 26,000 rupees. I like the design. Just needs a cooler box. If you have a good sense of balance, they have a slightly narrower one, but it's only 16,000. It's a pirogue. You guys know I love my pirogues and particularly the wood ones. But look at this, this is actually a fiberglass one made by Resiglass as well. You can still put your sail in, and it's quite large. It's actually very big. We have storage underneath. Yeah, 400,000 rupees. 400,000 rupees, you can go get a fishing boat. Oh, Northern Boatworks, I think they're based in, where? Trele. I think they're Trele. I got a nice little small fishing boat. I'm not 100% sure that this is part of the boat show. I keep falling into the water, sorry guys. <laughs> not 100% sure that this is part of the boat show. But it's here in the boat show, but it looks like one of those you know, someone got together and decided to go around the world boats. It feels like one of those boat lab boats. Yes, but it's a boat and yeah. this is a boat show, so... Uh -huh. <laughs> show it. <laughs> oh, there's this swish looking boat. We hear at Yacht Management, these guys, they do all the Benito boats. They sell and lease and all sorts of things to do with boats. So if it's to do with boats, they do it. Like this. Yeah, it's important. It's like backup service. You've bought a boat, now you've got to have someone maintain it and hire it out for you when you're not using it. Exactly. Cool, practical. So if you're buying this boat, for example, then and you come here for your two-month holiday and you cruise around in it, there, there's some of you out there that can do that. And the rest of the time they hire it out. Yeah. So let's go see if we can't get on a catamaran. Brian, visit a massive catamaran. I'm on the catamaran, and this one goes from Marburg to Ilde Surf. They, they go past the waterfall and everything. But have a look at this. It actually has a bar in it. So there's a bar, you can get your drinks. Great place to sit. It is a little bit wet, it is a little bit wet. But you can sit, and look, they got holes. So you can put your drink in. How oh, awesome. That's Ricky, that's Ricky, everyone. <laughs> she won't come on board. Okay, it is a bit rainy, but I've been given permission to go onto the trampoline. I'm on the trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> go jump. Oh, it's actually, it's, it's quite unstable. It's like you're on the sea and getting seasick, and then you're on the trampoline and it's trampoline-y. <laughs> <laughs> well, how cool is this? And how big is this boat? Silver swordfish. Awesome. Obviously, that's Ricky there. But have a look at it. It is huge. 
Do it again. <laughs> okay, so someone helps you off the boat. So it's safe. Thank you so much. <laughs> Although Brian jumped back on the boat all by himself to jump off again. <laughs> Check this, it's a little reef simulation. Mauritius has amazing sea life and these guys help to protect it. This is reef conservation. And they're actually saving the Mauritian seas from things like Crown of Thorns, but it's more than just that. They have a tent, so we're out of the rain, and that's very important <laughs> on a day like today. So this is Flavio from Reef Conservation. Basically representing one of our conservation sites, and it's being done on a voluntary basis. So members of this community agreed to protect a part of the sea, a part of a lagoon, and not carry out any destructive action to help us protect this wonderful site. Wow, 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 guys, it's a mobile classroom from Reef Conservation. There's so many cool things here. We've actually got our guide chain. He's going to tell us all about this. Ismail. 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 Right now you're looking at a mobile marine educational unit. So we move around the island with all these wonderful pieces of equipment. We go around the island, we visit schools, communities, and we try to sensitize them uh, about the lagoon, the coastal and marine ecosystem and they get to discover each of these marine animals what are uh, what what they do in the ocean the magnetic <laughs> but you have to guess where this one came from yeah so there you can see the two bodies together that's oh, whoops Moorish <laughs> idols but look at this this is actually a polyp our best friend in the ocean what is a polyp a polyp is the little thing that lives in the coral. This is actual coral. This is the, 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 the animal in the coral. Is this right. the animal? So the coral is an animal and there you can see a big 3D model. It's called the polyp and they are our best friend because what they do is they build the skeleton of the corals. They build the reef. Uh, they also have microalgae that live inside them and which are uh, producers of oxygen. Okay, so they yep. produce oxygen. Yep. So they keep us breathing. Well, you can't have a fancy boat unless you've got fancy upholstery. These guys actually use upholstery. Okay, so Associated Textiles, you might have heard of them before. They don't only do marine stuff. They're actually a good place where you can go get your plain white, good quality linens and bedding. <laughs> Look who we found here. It's a world of seashells. They actually are she African shells. seashells. <laughs> She's really bad at that, that tongue twister. By the way, Africa's largest collection of seashells. We're actually going to do a video on them. But they're here at the boat show. Yeah. So we thought we'd give you a sneak peek. And it's a fantastic adventure. But you'll have to wait for that video to come out. Or go visit them. Ah. Yeah, the, shot, the yeah. exhibition is just in Port Louis near the market. Wow, who knew boats could be so much fun? <laughs> and they have these giant steering wheels like that one behind me. Well, anyway, everyone, from the boat show, which was epic, by the way, definitely come next year. Just like to say thanks for watching. See you next time.